Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on organization. Today we're going to focus on four different tools uh, to help you manage your tasks. So uh, this is the next step after organizing your calendar, uh, which I covered in another video. Uh, and now this is where you would start to get uh, more fine grained, right? So maybe you've got your due dates set for your quizzes, um, a paper you've got to write, uh, and now here is where I would then decide what to do, okay? Uh, how to assign times. So the very first simplest method is to just have a little Google Doc or a Word document even, um, and you just make a simple list. Uh, and the, the best important things that I like to include here are how many hours I assume a project will take and how many hours I've scheduled myself for. Uh, so this is where I break everything down into small little steps, uh, and I'm able to then compare uh, what I've actually done to what my estimate is, right? Uh, so this is how I know how much time to block off for myself. Um, and that's a lot easier to do once you've done a few papers or studied for some exams already. Um, but to give you some idea, uh, this is these are my estimates. So the shortcut for uh, doing the strike through is to just do Alt Shift and 5 and that will give you a strike through. You can also Alt Shift 5 to undo that as well if you uh, thought you finished something uh, but didn't. So this is the super easiest, plainest way to do things. Um, I still use this method sometimes. Um, occasionally I might have to uh, do it by time slots and you know, micromanage to the minute um, each uh, minute of the day. So um, this is if I've got a lot of things to do um, and not a lot of time to accomplish it, um, or I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. So that's the easiest way. Uh, number two is Padlet. Padlet offers uh, free accounts. So you can make three free Padlets. Um, and a Padlet is very simply kind of like a whiteboard. So I'm going to open up this to-do thing that I have from earlier. Um, and they have a lot of really different um, good formats, essentially. So if you wanted to do a section for each class, you could do that. And so I could call this COM202. Uh, and save all of my progress and assignments here as well. Um, anything that I've done, I could then, you know, either mark it in red or delete it or whatever, or transfer it to a done pile, anything I wanted, right? Um, the other thing you can do is click this little three dot button in the right hand corner and change the format. So they offer a lot of different formats that you can use depending on how your brain works, right? Um, so the canvas is really nice if you have a lot of interconnected things, right? Uh, so maybe I'm going to drag that off. And maybe you want to connect these two posts um, with the label COM202. Um, but so sometimes, especially if you're uh, higher up in your major, you may have a lot of overlapping readings uh, that actually relate to one another in different ways, right? So you might want to connect those. You can then just drag this anywhere, uh, close that out, move it around, do what you need to do. Um, <clears throat> if you wanted to edit this, you can give it a date. Um, it doesn't really do anything though. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in our calendar video, um, some tools will have higher integration like push notifications and that type of thing. Tablet is not one of those. This is again a simple, simple thing. Okay. Uh, so there are a lot of different um, options to choose from. You can do backgrounds, you can invite people. So this could be a nice place to do some group work as well. Um, but it's totally not necessary. You can just do it for yourself. Uh, if you do have something more um, rigid that you you want to do, you could do this as a little shelf thing as I had before, or <coughs> even a timeline. So if your brain thinks a little bit more along times, like, oh, I want to be able to see when this is due in the future, right, maybe, maybe, if I can move it, here we go. If I can add a subject here and push things along, essentially. Um, so if you are more of a lateral thinker like this, uh, this might be the thing for you, right? So super easy. Again, it doesn't have a lot of high functions of, you know, alerting you to anything. So uh, it's really just a place to make sure you see things, okay? If that works for you. Okay, next I wanted to look at Trello. Uh, Trello does offer a free version, uh, and we're getting into more complex territory here. Um, it offers a lot of really nice templates, uh, so you could do something for education, uh, and you know these are going to be for teachers mostly, um, but for students, uh, what is being a student except for being a project manager, essentially? Um, so my to-do little board thing um, looks like this. All these were generated by them pretty much. I didn't make that many edits. Um, but so one thing I did change was uh, the label cards. Uh, so you can easily snag any of these 
and enable colorblind friendly mode, which I love, love that. You can have little designs on there. You can edit these uh, labels so that you're doing things that are most relevant to you, of course. Uh, and you can define them here as well for yourself. Um, uh, with Trello and the uh, last tool I'm going to show you, Monday, uh, most of these are used for project management uh, at a corporate level um, and in computer science, right? So um, again, though, this is one of those things where you could really impress a, a new boss uh, that you might have in the future. Um, with your already familiarized skills, right? Um, the really nice thing you can do here is also give yourself check boxes and yay, a little bit of confetti. You can do that by adding a little um, icon here to your emoji, to your title, and it will know to do that. Uh, you can also, one of my favorite things, is uh, making those checklists, right? So this is, again, breaking things down into small, manageable pieces will make it easier for you to not only get started on your work, but also keep track of your work and keep you motivated, right? Because if you only have the one thing and it's just write a paper, um, you don't really know where to start with that sometimes, okay? Um, each thing that you check off will progress your little checklist thing here, which is really nice. Um, you can also choose to hide things as well. So tons and tons of uh, features here with Trello, but um, the caution that I give you when we get into this kind of uh, level of um, tool is that uh, managing these tools might take as much time or more time <laughs> than you want to spend um, doing this kind of thing, right? So managing all of this might be its own card, um, and that might get annoying for you, so... The last one is Monday. Um, this is a template that I just pulled. I just did add and choose from templates and I found a class schedule one. Um, and again, as things get more complex, um, these tools are generally for adding teammates, right? So, um, and obviously you may not have people that you go through all four years with. Um, you may, but you probably won't. Um, so you, you may not have the full functionality here. Um, but if your brain really likes this kind of thing, really likes the way that it's laid out, and it's really helpful for you, then... Uh, workspace here, your Trello, or your Monday, sorry, uh, does have the ability to um, connect to your phone. So you can download the app and you can have it on there as well. So those are uh, very quickly just the tools that, uh, some simple tools to keep track of all of your tasks. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.